So right now I gave myself the task to find a new sketchbook amongst my sketchbooks and journal collection so that I can finally start a fresh sketchbook for 2024. If you haven't watched my videos on my most recent sketchbook tour, my two main goals was literally just to finish these sketchbooks which I've abandoned both from 2021 and 2022. And I actually just accomplished that goal, which I'm really proud of. I'm glad that I finally finished these sketchbooks. And it means I can start a fresh new one, which I always love to do. A lot of my sketchbooks are pretty much all the same. So they're all hardbound and they have a black cover. But I don't know if I actually want a fresh and different color or if I want to kind of maintain the same one. I have a bunch of black ones over here, which I bought ages ago and they cost about $7.50. I think nowadays they would cost maybe twice the price of that. I also have colored sketchbooks over here and some of these are journals. And I would prefer to use ones without lines on them or without a dot grid, so just completely blank. Not sure what size I want either. I have more sketchbooks over here that I bought recently because I buy sketchbooks at a faster pace than I fill them in. So I have a lot and I'm trying not to buy any more until I use up maybe half of my collection. I have a lot more scattered around the studio and I also have like a whole box at my parents house which is stored in their garage. I even have sketchbooks or sketch pads or drawing pads that are either watercolor paper or just cartridge paper and more sketchbooks here and here that are actually really hard to access so you can tell that I'm probably never gonna use these ones at least in the next couple years. And then I have some novelty sketchbooks because when I travel nowadays I actually make it a thing where my souvenir to myself is a notebook or a journal or a sketchbook that I bought from that place. And it all started with this sketchbook that I purchased from Bali. How gorgeous is this? I don't even remember how much it cost but I remember thinking it was pretty expensive. It also lies flat. The pages, the pages are pretty, the texture is pretty. It's just beautiful but I don't think I'm going to be using this this year. I have another one right here which is also absolutely stunning and it even comes with a latch. How cute is that? It is so pretty but it's kind of in the same vein as my Bali sketchbook where I feel like it's just too good for me to use. And then I have this sketchbook. So this is a top contender for the sketchbooks that I might be using this year because number one, I actually already started using this in 2023 and also a little bit of this year. So it does have sketches inside it already. But the main reason why I'm thinking I might not use this is because it only really is good for pencil sketches and I'm thinking more of thicker paper so that I can potentially use gouache or watercolors. Part of me wants to just have one sketchbook so I can only have one focus instead of having multiple ones. Multiple sketchbooks never work for me. It, I've tried it in the past and I work better if I just have one sketchbook where I basically dump everything in there. I'm also of the mindset where I just finished two unfinished sketchbooks and this would be a third one and I kind of just want a fresh new start where there aren't other sketches in it. I don't know. I think that's just me being really nitpicky. So decisions, decisions. Oh, and this one I also kind of just wanted to share since I showed my Bali sketchbook. This is a sketchbook that I bought in South Korea. 
It is, I'm pretty sure, a calligraphy book because I bought it at a calligraphy shop, but how gorgeous is this? Just look at that cover. I don't think I'm... This is actually the front. I don't think I'm going to use this anytime soon. I think I will probably just admire this from afar.
know this looks boring, but I have come to a decision and things aren't going to change. I'm going to keep using essentially the same sketchbook that I have been using for years. I've been using it for years, I've been loving it for years, and I guess it's been tried and tested. This one is by the brand Montmartre. I bought this years ago back when I used to live near this huge $2 shop and I bought a bunch of these. I stocked up which is great because I don't live there anymore and it is now more expensive um, at other stores. So I do like the thickness of the paper. I love that it lays flat and based on everything that I've stated with the other sketchbooks, I don't think I am keen to just stick to pencil drawings. I feel like I'm a little bit more ambitious at this moment, hoping to do more paintings with watercolors or gouache or with markers and trying to create drawings that aren't unfinished. So that's why I'm choosing this one. Hopefully that motivation continues <laughs> until I actually finish this sketchbook. I think that would be one of my goals for this year.